Every day, more than 2,600 children under the age of 13 are involved in a car crash. And this week, uh, Child Passenger Safety Seek uh, Week highlights the importance of keeping kids safe while riding in the car. And Lily Beckless, a pediatric injury prevention coordinator with Brenner Children's Hospital. It's part of Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. She's here with some important information that we all need to know. Thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thank you for the invitation again. All right, so first of all, let's talk about car seats. It seems like many people really have trouble installing them correctly. Yes, so most parents think that they installed their car seats correctly. Of course we do. Or their bus <laughs> Sits, or somehow they forget that their child, when they get a little bit older, they still need to be in a um, car seat or booster seat or a child passenger safety device. So one of the things that we see when they install them, they either um, install them too loose or they use the seat belt in the latch, mm -hmm. the harness in the bottom, and, and you cannot do that. Or they don't know how to properly place the child in the car seat. So for example, we have one here, you know, these clips needs to be at or below shoulder level. Mm -hmm. If the child is going, you know, rear facing, or it needs to be at or above shoulder level if the child is going forward facing and the straps are just too loose. So a child can still sustain injuries even if they're riding in a car seat, but if they're not tight enough when they're in the seat belt, it's not gonna protect them as, he's, as it should. All right, so we all need some training and learning. Yes. So where can people get some of that? So parents can contact us at Brenner's Children's Hospital um, to get more information about child passenger safety. We do car seat checks once a month. We also have them throughout the region, our corner parts in Davie, Davidson, Stokes, and Yatkin counties. Uh, they can check with their local fire departments to see if they have any child passenger safety techs available. Mm -hmm. uh, but we all work together to be able to keep families and children safe. All right, gonna have to make this one really quickly, but International Walk to School Day is coming up October 5th, so what do we need to know about that? Well, um, we have several schools participating, so drivers need to be paying attention to children walking that day. Uh, children under the age of 10, they need to walk with an adult. We encourage that children use the crosswalks, that they use sidewalks, that they follow the rules of the, of the road, and that they don't assume that a vehicle is seeing them or, or watching them. They need to make sure that they make the eye contact with the driver. And you got more information on your website? Yes, so um, we are asking parents to go to our Brenner's Children's Hospital website to get more information about child passenger safety and International Walk to School Day, or they can go to the Brenner's Children's Hospital Facebook page or the Safe Kids Northwest Pittman Facebook page. All right, got to make that the last word. Thank you so much, as always. It's good to see you. Thank you so Useful much, Margaret. Information. Thank you.